Welcome to Open House with Jerry Cornejo, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or who should be in the news. And uh, our topic this, uh, for this program is very interesting. It's about psychic phenomena. It's about the unseen, the unheard. It's about UFOs. And we have with us the foremost international psychic researcher ng Pilipinas. Huh? He lectures all over the world on psychic phenomena. He uh, is an author of uh, several books, best-selling books. He is a broadcaster. He's a regular uh, radio program. He's a columnist. He has a regular column in one of the, in the leading newspaper in the Philippines. And so we have with us none other than uh, Dr. Jaime Licaoco. Hi, Jimmy, Hello. welcome, welcome. Thank you, Jerry. Okay. Now, Jimmy, umpisan, umpisan natin sa ano, kasi yung title natin, UFOs. Babalik-balikan natin to, no? Sure. UFOs, Unidentified Flying Objects. A lot of people believe in it, di ba? Many, many people believe in it. Ngayon, more and more credible people all over the world are saying they are true, we have made contact, and so on and so forth. And I know you have been researching this for decades, and you're an authority on it. Oh, ang tanong ko, really. ang tanong ko, Jimmy, <laughs> Bakit walang maliwanag the picture? Tsaka bakit wala pa tayong picture ng isang E.T. mismo? Or do they look like us? No, it is not true that we don't have pictures. Oh. We have plenty of authenticated pictures and films. Pero hindi sharp. No, no, no. There oh. are, there are, most of them are not sharp. Oh. But remember, there was the Condon uh, study, no? Mm. By this guy, Condon. I think he was commissioned by the, by the U.S. Armed Forces no? mm. or the Navy. And uh, it showed that 90% of all these sightings can be explained by natural phenomena. Okay. No? Balloon bursting and all balloon testing. Kanya, no? uh -huh. But 10% or 15%, or not that, that much, could not, could not be explained. Mm -hmm. And it, they let go at that. No? Kasi 90% can be explained. They said, well, it's, it, they, they completely ignored okay. the findings. What about the 10%? Okay. okay. So research more, what about the 10%? Well, you know, I have had uh, actual experiences with mm. UFOs. I have seen plenty of these uh, sightings in Mount Banahao, in Pila Laguna, mm. and even outside my window in, in the south, in Paranaque, you know, I saw about 4 o'clock in the morning, mm. a very fast-moving light, you know, which could not be an airplane. Mm. You know. so, so I've seen. And uh, actually, Jerry, you know, I don't know whether I, people who believe this, I've actually met and talked to an alien, female alien. Oh, papane, yeah, maganda well, no, yan. <laughs> I, okay. I don't want to elaborate on this, uh -huh. but I did because it's difficult to prove, except that another person who was with me saw the same entity inside a, inside a boulder. But of course, I did not go there physically. It was my astral body that was inside. Ah, okay. And so uh, it was not a physical. Uh, ano tawag ni Leron? Astral it's encounter a, of the third kind. Uh, yes, it was not a physical okay. thing because uh -huh. you know. One of the things that we, perhaps we should explain is that these uh, UFOs and, and aliens are what we call semi-physical. Okay. Semi-physical and semi-spiritual entities. In other words, they cannot be seen by ordinary people. Not mm -hmm. everybody can see them. And they can be seen only through the third eye. That's why two people looking at the same thing, one will see, the others will not see. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so difficult to prove. You okay. Know. So, totoo ba yung uh, ito? Just, I mean, I, I really haven't researched it. But every now and then, I come across things like, sasabihin nila, eh, they're among us na eh. They look like Jimmy, they yeah. look like Jerry and Jigger yeah. and Rolly. <laughs> Parang gano'n. So, yeah. they look like us. So, yeah. anong, anong, anong inahanan mo? Gusto yes. mo yung may mga antena? Yes. Yes. So, what is it, Jimmy? Well, uh, there are those that have already assumed the human form. Mm -hmm. Those have been for a long time. In fact, there's a whole, whole book written by Scott Mandelka. In fact, I met the author. Scott Mandelka wrote a PhD thesis on, and the book's title is From Elsewhere and then subtitle Being E.T. in America. That's mm -hmm. the subtitle. And the thesis of the book is that there are those aliens that are already here and assume a human form. Okay, but for what purpose? Nag, well, nag migrate sila. Yes, yes. Some of them stayed. And this okay. can be verified actually in the Bible. You will, mm -hmm. you will notice in the Old Testament, I think in the area of the Genesis, you know, there were giants who were roaming the earth. Mm -hmm. and, and then they, 
they they habited with the human the human beings no? okay and they lived some went up went back to their own planetary systems others stayed behind okay now i know we've researched on this also ito naman nakikita ko sa tv National Geo yata, Discovery na ito mga structures na mga Aztecs, ito mga pyramids, yes. e connected daw sa mga UFO and extraterrestrials yan. Yes. Now, according to your research, how true is this? Akala ko, mausoleum na mga pharaohs yung no. yung, uh, that, ano? That is the common misconception. Okay. Actually, if you look at the construction of the pyramid and uh, the pyramid in Egypt, and the pyramids uh, uh, in, in, in the Aztecs or the Maya, no? the, the proportions are the same. No? How can you explain that? These people are not in touch with each other. The other thing is that the uh, uh, king's chamber in the Pyramid of Giza is aligned to Orion, mm -hmm. uh, the constellation Orion, and the queen's chamber is aligned to Sirius, this is another uh, star, no? And uh, why is that so? Because they are actually uh, parang beacons, no? To other planetary systems. And this is true also of the pyramids that can be found in Me Mexico, in, in Mesoamerica, and uh, made by the Aztecs, the Maya, the Olmecs, and all that. No? So were they built by extraterrestrials or were they built by humans no, under the instructions? No, that's, that's controversial, Jerry. Oh. Nobody knows. Ah, okay. Nobody knows who built it. I, I, so, I don't want there to... So despite your decades of research, walang well, conclusive... Well, uh, not, not me. I'm oh. not really an expert. I mean, the, the experts oh. who have done it could not uh, make a definite conclusion that this was made by humans or aliens. The, well, there definitely is some by humans. Well, humans oh. with the aid of some, technolo oh. Oh. some outside technology, puede. Okay. Oh. Mm. So... Dito ngayon sa Pilipinas, ito, we, we, we had a chat when we met a couple of weeks ago, a week ago, about this. Sabi nila, uh, dito raw sa Pilipinas, well, let's talk about Mount Banahaw first. Mount Banahaw daw, ang ilalim daw niyan is actually a uh, subterranean, uh, I don't know what you call it, headquarters mm -hmm. for uh, UFOs and aliens. Well, I cannot say it's true or not, but uh -oh. there is a belief or uh, uh -oh. that there is such a thing. But I cannot say it's true or not. I, I have no way of uh, but, verifying but, it. But you have said na when you're in Banahaw, sawang sawa ka makakita ng UFO. Ay, yeah, hindi nyo na Everybody sees it. 10, 15 minutes, uh, hindi lang seconds. Uh. Uh -oh. We can see light dancing in the sky. Okay. Uh -oh. Pero hindi saucer na... No. Yeah, lights. lights. These lights. are lights. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ngayon. Jimmy, ito ngayon ang uh, ano. Anong, uh, anong purpose nila rito? I mean, uh, let's just presume it's true. Now you say you have even contacted someone on the astral plane. Mm. I'm sure you ask questions like that or maybe they told you. No, they, I wasn't able to oh. because I wasn't allowed to go deep inside. And okay. I was told, hindi pa ready. No? Okay. So I was not able to converse with the entity. Pero anong purpose nila? Okay, one of the purposes... To conquer ba? To conquer no, ba? definitely. Then, uh, friendly. Oh. Oh. Friendly. In fact, they are here to make sure that the planet Earth will not uh, be, uh, will not self-destruct. Do you know, Jerry, that right now, the stockpiles uh -huh. of nuclear weapons mm. that are uh, in the custody of several countries, the U.S., where they are, I mean, uh, 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 Russia, and several other atomic powers or nuclear powers, uh -huh. nations, uh, uh -huh. are enough to destroy the whole Earth. Several times over. Exactly. sure that this does not happen. Ah, okay. Remember uh -huh. that the first alien uh, sightings were uh, uh, seen after the atomic bomb was uh, was uh, hurled uh -huh. at, the, at the Hiroshima and Nagasaki. After that, many UFOs were seen. Why? Why? Uh -huh. Because they are they. One of the purposes, really, is to prevent this thing from happening, okay? to preserve the Earth. Why do they want to preserve the Earth? It is not for, because of altruistic reason. It was because of uh, the fact that uh, it would also destroy the, in, the, the, the magnetic field of the universe. No? Ah, Therefore, okay. To preserve the, the Earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, they're here to protect. So, hindi totoo yung mga sine na... To conquer, ha? Kalokohan yung mga yun. That's not true. <coughs> if they, if they, that's what they wanted. 
They would have conquered a long time ago, di ba? They have a higher technology, more advanced than, than we have. Mm -hmm. If that was the purpose, matagal na tayo na conquer. Mm -hmm. Don't you think so? <laughs> well, uh, so, so, there, so, kaya nga, ito puro theory. Yes. I mean, I, I myself, I've, correct, I've correct. had, uh, I've had uh, several close encounters yes. with, uh, ang pinaka, ang pinaka malapit na nangyari nito, Jimmy, mm. I was in uh, Paranaque. I mm. was in a, an area where uh, nagla-landing, nagte-take off mga aeroplano. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one night, I was by the beach side. I said, oh my God, here comes another one of those noisy things. <laughs> so nakita ko approaching red and green lights. And then when it passed over my head, I realized, bakit walang tunog? Ang laki-laki, I mean whoosh yes. went over my head. Oh. I mean, the, the usual, parang mimicking a landing uh, a, a jet liner, mm -hmm. same red and green lights, but when it was already over my head, I was about to cover my ears. Well, Walang tunog. Pag tingin ko na ganun, dumaan na lang, going psycho. Hindi wow, super, what? Hindi supersonic uh, airplane, no? No walang, sound. Kasi walang, walang sound. Walang the sound, sound is after it. Eh. Oh, and ito walang sound oh. before or after. Okay. It was just huge with flashing red and green lights and wow. went over my head. No, ngayon uh, Jimmy, ito. I mean, uh, we're gonna get into more interesting stuff na groundbreaking. Ha, yung sinasabi mo about quantum physics, mm. hindi ba? I mean, pag-usapan natin yan. Etong UFO na ito, ano lang ito? Uh, bread and butter lang na. <laughs> I mean, everybody talks about it. We see it in movies. We see it in the comics. Ano ang last word mo on, uh, on uh, UFOs and extraterrestrials? Well, we cannot discount the fact that there are unknown uh, entities or objects no? mm -hmm. uh, that are here. And uh, if they want uh, ancient proof of uh, UFO, they can look at Ezekiel no? in, the, in the Bible, in the Old Testament, the first chapter of the book of Ezekiel talks about this encounter with the UFO, the whole chapter. Very clear and very detailed description of uh -huh. UFO. And also Elijah Rao, right? was taken up in a fiery yeah. chariot. Yes, right? Elijah, yeah, right. Uh -huh. Oh, now, let's touch on this. I mean, we might uh, be able to get out of the CBCP. Why? No, there's still a saying that Jesus Christ no, was an alien. Well, in, in uh -huh. a way, he is. You know, oh. he was, no? No, I mean an extraterrestrial. Yes, because okay. he came from outer space, no? So in oh. a way, he is. Oh. And so are we. Okay. Because we, this is not our home. We came from other planetary systems. Like what? Uh, well, iba it, ibang it, planeta iba, tayo? Iba, 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 ah? ibang planeta. You know where you came from? Uh, according to one entity we consulted, there is about 4,500 light years away. Okay, la you know? Mm, 4,500. Oh. Light oh. years. Yeah, light years. Oh, oh. A light year is, is uh, the speed of sound. No, the speed of light. The speed of light that Eight, you travel for one year. Which is 186,000 miles per second. Uh -huh. That's the speed of light. Uh -huh. Times one year. <laughs> uh, that's one light year. Exactly. Oh. Yung pinanggalingan mo daw, 4,500 light years. So it must be very, very fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You want to go back there, Jimmy? <laughs> one day. <laughs> one day. Or maybe we're there already. Yes. Diba yung, uh, yeah. pag-usapan natin to, because I think quantum physics has to deal with that, with reality, mm. Mm. with what we see and what is out mm. there. Yes. Okay, pagbalik po natin, I mean, we're going to have a very interesting topic. Uh, as a matter of fact, this was uh, how uh, Jim and I got together recently. Uh, you know, we were, he was very excited. He was uh, telling me about one of his coming lectures and you should hear about this. You're listening and watching Open House with Jerry Cornell on GNN, and we'll be back right after this. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Open House with Jerry Cornell, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or who should be in the news. And as you can see, our topic now is UFOs and psychic phenomena. If you were listening earlier in the first segment, not then, we were talking about UFOs. And, you know, I mean, uh, everybody has his or own story about UFOs. We've seen it in movies, comics, everywhere. Nakikita po natin. Pero ito, our next topic is uh, something that's always been there, something that uh, scholars and professors have been talking about. And uh, when I was talking to uh, our guest, si Dr. Jaime Licauco, 
He was very excited about it. As a matter of fact, he's going to have a seminar workshop workshop about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, Jimmy, ano nga pangalan ng magiging workshop mo? Uh, it is quantum physics, uh -huh. Eastern mysticism, and ESP. Okay, sir, can you please explain? Ano pang unahin natin? Quantum <laughs> physics. Yes. Go ahead, please. Uh, Jerry, I know I'm, I'll have difficulty explaining this, no? Uh, because it's uh, technical, but I am looking at it from a layman. Because I'm a layman, no? looking at this technical thing. Because I was so excited when I read about quantum physics, how it explains a lot of things that are happening in the field of psychic phenomena, which could not be explained by classical physics. Probably the best way to introduce the concept of uh, quantum physics is uh, to contrast uh, their findings with classical physics. Classical physics uh, is associated with Isaac Newton and, uh, and, 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 and his associates during that time. And uh, Isaac Newton's classical physics is uh, the one that is followed by all scientists that there are laws governing the universe, like a mechanism. No? Mm -hmm. When quantum physics started uh, becoming uh, a uh, force to reckon with no? because of the findings, nakagulo mga scientists because they could not explain the behavior of smallest particle of matter from the point of view of classical physics. So they had to look for a, a, a new paradigm to explain what's happening. Mm -hmm. What are some of these things? No? Uh, you know, in, in, in physics, a particle is different from a wave, no? A particle occupies a specific space as an object, but a, a wave does not occupy a specific space. It has, it occupies several spaces. It is a wave, mm -hmm. okay? Now, an object is either a particle or a wave. It cannot be both. But when scientists were, be were beginning to... Um, research on the smallest particle of light, which is the photon, no? they found out that the photon behaves sometimes like a particle and sometimes like a wave. Now, this is a no-no as far as classical physics. It cannot be. Mm -hmm. Now, when they tried to research some more, bakit ganun? Why does this photon behave like a particle at one time and another time a wave? They realized later, to their consternation, <laughs> the disbelief, that the observer observing the behavior of the photon determines whether it will be particle or a wave. In other words, the observer is affecting the thing observed. Mm -hmm. That is not accepted by classical physics. The object is different from the subject. They cannot be in yeah, classical physics. That's classical Newtonian. Yeah. Okay. And that is true in the macro level. Uh -uh. In, let me explain, or let me try to be clear. We are not saying that classical physics is wrong. It is still true. And it will be true from the macro standpoint from the bigger physical for that we can see. Mm. But when it comes to the ultimate stuff of matter, which is the quantum level, Newtonian physics laws do not apply. They cannot explain the behavior of particles. So they were scrounged, uh, scrounging for uh, new ways of explaining. And that's how quantum physics began. Mm -hmm. to explain why is it that, for example, a particle can influence another particle, whether they call it uh, action at a distance. That's telekinesis. You know, telekinesis is the, is the power of the mind to affect an object from afar. That is happening on the particle level, on the quantum level, you see? So one of the things that makes me excited is that quantum physics explains why psychic phenomena happens. Mm -hmm. That's only one of them. Uh, there are others no, that I, I, I cannot uh, really just explain now. No? But there are other laws that were found by quantum physics that explains even such thing as uh, bilocation being in two places at the same time can be explained by quantum physics. You see? A telepathy mm -hmm. you can be explained by, by quantum physics. That everything is interconnected. Everything is a state of motion. There is nothing at rest. Okay. Tanong ko lang now, Jimmy. Uh... It explains it. Does it explain how to do it? What do you mean, how to do it? L like, for instance, I've seen a sabimo, like uh, a person's mind can affect that mug in front of you. Okay, accepted. Diba? Nagagawa ng iba. 
tayo ba kaya natin gawin yan? I mean, yes, I, 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 I know done. you're teaching it, di ba? Yes, I've done. I teach people how to bend spoons with their mind to telekinesis. I teach people how to, how to move an object with their mind without touching it. And okay. they have done it. Okay. They could do it. But so, that is not explained. But that is the how is not oh. explained by quantum physics. Okay. It explains that it happens. No? Okay. Well, it, it's, it's uh, action-reaction, di ba? Mm. Parang ganun yan. Para bang ano yan, Jimmy? Parang uh, water, it can be gas, solid, or liquid. Parang no, ganun ba yan? No, no, you're still talking about physical. physical. Oh. See, on the quantum level, you cannot talk in terms of this, these things of solid, gaseous, or not. No? There is only the behavior of particles moving about like crazy. Okay, ngayon, question. What can you do with that? With this knowledge now of quantum physics, what can you do? Can you create things? In well, theory, the way I understand it, you can actually, with that power, with that theory, you can actually create things which ginagawa na mga great psychics like mm. Jesus Christ and other people mm. before and after him. Mm. Diba? They create things out of... Oh, yeah. Sai Baba can do it. Oh. Materialization. Our healers can do it. Materialization. So, ano ba yan? That's nothing... Uh, Is that quantum physics, no? Hindi pa rin. Well, well it... It can be explained okay. by quantum physics, but it is not quantum physics. Because quantum physics is a series of theories and principles, no? but uh, it explains. So, itong seminar mo, anong matututunan ito? Like, a layman well, enters your, that, does, does someone who enters that, uh, who joins your workshop, uh, kailangan ba yan? Medyo ang um, background niya on these things is solid na or... No. You can come in from the cold. No, I can come from the cold. Oh. I'm not the one lecturing on that because I'm not technically qualified. No, I'm not a physicist. But I will be uh, collaborating with a physicist, mm -hmm. Dr. George Wiseman, who has a PhD in theoretical physics from the University of California in Berkeley. Mm -hmm. And he worked with Gary Zukav and Fritov Capra in preparing their books on, on quantum physics. And he has met some of the great psychics. And George himself can do psychokinesis. Mm -hmm. Uh, to prove, no, that and he will demonstrate. He will demonstrate. The he will demonstrate. But uh -huh. I will be demonstrating, not me, but the whole audience will will will, will, will teach them how to bend a spoon mm -hmm. with their mind. Okay. No? Now, uh, now, tell me, na, Jimmy. Mamaya magahabul tayo kasi wala na tayong oras. Let's do it now. And I was estimating, uh, ang, uh, we will be airing this program before. Your seminar. Ngayon, your seminar is on June 22, June am I 22, right? June 22, that's a Sunday. Okay, June 22, from Sunday. Nine, from 9 a.m. to 5. 9 a.m. to 5. This is in Makati? Or? Yes, in Makati, at the penthouse uh, function room of uh, Prince Plaza building on Legaspi Street. Demona Prince? Prince Plaza building. Okay. Penthouse function room, uh, 106 Legaspi Street, corner De La Rosa. Okay. Legaspi Village, in front of Greenbelt 5. Okay, now... Of course, if they're lucky, there's pang space. But uh, we were talking earlier. Yeah, I was surprised at the response, oh, Jerry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was really surprised. Right. Well, well, as of now, by the way, if you're listening right now, and it's before July, uh, June 22, you can try. Yeah. But uh, if there are some cancellations, uh, then we can still accept. Uh, but uh, you can try. Yeah. I mean, if if you were meant to be there, you're yeah. going to be there. They they can call up eight yeah, one yeah, eight yeah. one zero. Okay. 7245 okay. for inquiries or reservation. All right. Or the cell phone of the office is 0908 okay. 353 7885. Okay. And the, and the name of the seminar again is? The, it's Quantum Physics, Eastern Mysticism, and ESP. Okay. Hindi ba connected? Ano yan? Tatlong segments ba yan? I mean, uh, Quantum Physics, uh, uh, the second part is? The second, Eastern, Eastern mysticism and, and ESP. ESP. It was not really a segment. It oh. is really con uh, the, the interrelationship among these three will be discussed all throughout. Ah, the, okay. Uh, so interrelated. Yeah. Interrelated. They are not. Uh, they are not independent. No, subjects. no, no. Ah, In okay. fact, that is precisely the point of the oh. of the exercise oh, or the oh, seminar oh. is to show the interrelationship mm. between quantum physics and Eastern mysticism, especially Buddhism, and then ESP also. There's a connection. Okay. Because in the back, ESP cannot be explained by science, classical okay. science. With quantum physics, there's no explanation. Okay. So again, I mean, because usually, Jamie, alam ko ya, you, you know, you're a broadcaster. You do it on multimedia. See, uh, Mr. Uh, Jimmy Licalco comes out regularly 
Meron po siyang column sa... Daily Inquirer. Sa Daily Inquirer, what Every days? Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, mm. Daily Inquirer. Yes. Eh, hindi naman tayo na sa radio. So, sa radio, radio program. Radio, I'm with DWIZ, okay. 882 kHz. 882, and kilohertz. when can they But listen? Sunday, 8 to 9 p.m. Sunday, Sunday you know, 8 to 9 p.m. Mm. In fact, uh, after, my, after the seminar, uh, George Weissman will be my guest on the radio program. Okay. And also... Your books are still in National oh, Bookstore? Yes. I've written actually 17 books. 17? 17 books. Okay. And the 18th book I did with Cory Quirino, mm -hmm. Superman and Superbody. Okay. That's the 18th book. Oh, I just saw Cory Quirino yes. yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. We, we co-authored uh -huh. this book, which is selling like anything. We didn't uh -huh. expect the saleability. Mm -hmm. It's always out of stock in the market. Okay. So, hanapin niyo lang po, go by the author. I mean, 17 titles. Yes. And no. you can choose, yes. diba? No. So, go by the author. Sabihin mo, Jaime Likaw ko. Okay, go to National Books or any local bookstore and uh, just ask or them, uh, where books. are the books? Mm -hmm. Or power books. Where are the books of Jaime Licauco? And they lead you to it. And again, uh, Tuesday, if you want to read uh, things about psychic phenomena and yung mga research Mind ni power, Jaime Licauco. Inner Awareness, actually. Call them. Call them. Pangalan ng inner Awareness. Inner Awareness mm. sa Philippine Daily Inquirer. Yes, Lifestyle Section. Okay. And again, DWIZ yes. 882. What Killer. day, what time? Sunday, 8 to 9 p.m. Okay, Sunday, 8 to 9 p.m. And again, his seminar on uh, quantum physics, Eastern mysticism, and ESP is on June 22. That's a Sunday, and it's from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. The venue is at the penthouse of Pri Prince Plaza Building, Legaspi Street, Legaspi Village, yeah. just across Greenbelt 5. Yeah, right. The numbers to call? 810-7245, landline, 810-7245, and ang uh, mobile number, 0908-353-7885. Mm -hmm. uh, right. uh, you know, we were watching TV and uh, we heard uh, Mr. Jimmy Licalco has his thing. Can we still join? Is it uh, still available? Pero ito, Sigurado ito, Jimmy, once lang ito. You were telling me, One, yeah, once lang ito. Unfortunately, George uh -huh. Wiseman is going back to the United States after this, maybe uh, two weeks afterwards. Uh -huh. You know, he married a Filipina, by the way, uh -huh. from Cagayan de Oro. Oh, di ba balik siya rito? No, they, they were leaving here for two years, uh -huh. and then they decided to stay in the U.S., but he will be coming back once in a while, yeah, okay. because the family or the wife is okay. here. So there's no other scheduled no. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, work seminar workshop of the same... Uh, of the same uh, topic, not mm. the same subject. When we come back, see Mr. Uh, Jaime Licalco is going to tell you what exactly you're going to be learning during these things. Well, if only for the demonstration of psychokinesis, bending spoons, okay na yan, di ba? I mean, it's going to be worth <laughs> your time and effort if you've never seen it uh, it's before. It's going to be more than that, Jerry. Because hindi po sila magician, eh, no? Iba yung, oh. uh, iba yung illusionist who are there <laughs> to entertain. They're here to prove a scientific fact, yes. right? the laws of physics and the laws of quantum physics. You're listening to Open House and watching Open House with Jerry Cornell. By the way, this program airs nationwide and worldwide. Yes, on uh, Dito Po Sa Pilipinas, we are on uh, GNN, Global News Network, Channel 8 of Global Destiny Cable TV. We are on uh, Channel 213 of Sky. We're on GSAT Channel 1 and streaming. Kaya Jimmy, basta may computer sila, they're connected to yes. the internet, wherever, the, wherever uh, you may be. Just mm -hmm. log on to www.gnntv-asia.com and you'll be able to watch and listen not only to this program but other programs on GNN. I'm Jerry Cornell. We'll be back with uh, Dr. Jimmy Licalco when in a short while. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Open House with Jerry Cornell, where we feature people, places, and things that are in the news or who should be in the news. Ang topic po natin ngayon, and our guest goes all the way. They're, they've been in the news, always in the news, and should always be in the news. So we have with us an uh, international uh, psychic researcher, author, international lecturer, uh, broadcaster, uh, columnist, columnist. See, Dr. Jaime Licauco. So, Jimmy, again, uh, 
You're going to have a seminar June 22 in Makati. Yes. It's going to be quantum physics, Eastern mysticism, and ESP. ESP. Right. Okay. Now, if you are lucky enough to still join it, because as we speak, there are just a very few, yeah. less than a handful <laughs> left. Out right. of ilang bang kaya ng... Uh, uh, no, the, spa the uh, limited space and functional uh, room, no. It's only 40, 40, and we have about 30 plus already. Okay. Ngayon, Jimmy, for those who, who have already, uh, uh, ano ba tawag doon, enrolled? Enrolled. Or those who have already enrolled, and those who are planning to, what can they expect during this... Ano lang ito? Eight hours, nine to five. Yes, eight hours. So what, what can they, what can they expect? I mean, walk us through. Yes. They walk in there, they register. It's nine mm -hmm. o'clock. It begins. And uh, George Weisman yes. is is the other speaker, and yeah. then you. Kaya yeah. lang dalawa. Kaya dalawa lang. Okay. Oh. Walk us through your uh, seminar workshop, Jimmy. Well, we will have at the beginning a demonstration. They will demonstrate. We will not demonstrate. The the, the participants will be taught how to do, for example, psychic reading of a partner they've never seen before and how they could uh, even diagnose the illness of the person. Uh, that's one, no? And then it will be explained why these things happen. George Wiseman will come in and, and, and talk about the parallelism between uh, Eastern mysticism and quantum physics. He's coming in from a technical standpoint, but uh, as he was uh, studying this, he, uh, he also began to be interested in Buddhism. And he was a practicing Buddhist mm -hmm. at the time. And he saw the parallelism between what the Buddhists are saying and what quantum physics is saying. And he was one of the pioneers, by the way, that uh, tries to relate or encourage people to, to see the relationship between the new consciousness and quantum physics. Mm -hmm. He was one of the pioneers, and he, he built a whole, a whole group uh, in, in the United States uh, to encourage this dialogue between uh, mystics, the mystics and the scientists. No. Okay. So this seminar will open up their minds to this possibility, not only possibility, the reality of the relationship between physics, the quantum physics, and ESP and mysticism. They are saying the same thing. In fact, you know, it's what, one of the most interesting developments here is that the physicists are talking like the mystics, mm -hmm. and the mystics are talking like physicists. No? For example, no? One of the greatest quantum physicists, Danish, is Niels Bohr. And he was quoted as saying, he said, everything that we consider to be real are made up of things that cannot be considered real. I mean, that's contradictory. Hmm? That, that's a quantum physicist talking, not a mystic. And then there is this British physicist named Arthur Stanley Eddington who said that the universe, the world, is becoming more like a great thought than a great machine. See, these, again, is, are not the words of a physicist. Mm -hmm. These are the words of a mystic. No? And quantum physics also realized that what the Buddhists and Hindus are saying, that the outside world is, a, is an illusion, is true. That we, the thing that we consider solid is not really solid in its... Uh, in the quantum level. Mm -hmm. So when they started make, trying to find out what makes up matter, they found out there's nothing. Well, how can nothing be something? So this is, these are the quandaries. Eh? These are the, uh, what do you call it, interesting philosophical or metaphysical questions mm -hmm. that uh, they're struggling with. And they have some very interesting theories no, to explain how matter exists. Because eh, if you will remember philo Greek philosophy, Democritus said that the smallest particle of matter is an atom. In fact, the word atom is the Greek word meaning indivisible. Mm -hmm. But then as you know, as we know, the atom was split. The atomic bomb was created and all that. Oh. And then Einstein uh, created or the, uh, what you call it, discovered this formula of E equals mc squared, meaning energy is equivalent to mass uh, multiplied by the uh, square of the constant. The constant is the, uh, is the speed of light. So this created a new way of thinking, you know, uh, the relativity theory, both the general theory of relativity and the special theory of rel relativity, about space-time. You know, mga beginnings, eh? and then comes a guy like Max Planck, who said that the smallest particle of matter is not made of a continuous thing, but made of, of discrete entities called quantum, quanta. 
Doon ako presa yan eh. Yung word na quantum. So, what is the smallest particle of matter? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. It's nothing. Okay, Jimmy. Uh, you're walking us through your seminar. Okay? Yeah. What kind of people have you... Meron ka na bang uh, wow. demographics? I mean, what <laughs> kind of people have you <laughs> attracted there so far? It's very interesting. It's, oh. it's the thinking people. Okay, the of people course. Who are oh. the, the highly intelligent, mm. highly educated are mm. the ones being attracted to it. Presidents of universities. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, scientists. Lawyers. Uh, what else? Thinkers, thinkers. Thinkers, oh, people, oh. writers. No? Uh, because uh, the, the, just listening to you now, if I were to walk into your seminar, eh, baka paglabas ko, litong-lito na ako. <laughs> on the, on I mean, I understand what yeah. you're saying, but then... True. Okay, question, ito, ito, this is important. Uh, sure. How is it going to affect my life if I go to your seminar... You know what your you know what your agenda is. You know what your topics are going to be. So if I, after listening to George Weissman, after listening to Jaime Licalco, talk about uh, quantum physics, talk about Eastern mysticism and ESP, is it going to make me a better person? Do you are you going to give me tools or uh, an enlightenment that will help me make this world a better place to live in? Ano ba ito? I mean, what do you what are you going to impart? to the people who, were, who will be in that seminar? Jerry, this is not a theoretical seminar, it's a mm. workshop. Okay. In other words, the people will go through it and will demonstrate to, them, to themselves. So experiential? Experientially, though. Okay. There will be demonstration. Okay. They will, for example, we'll ask them to, really, to have a partner and we'll do remote viewing. Okay. Where they will describe a place they have never seen before, accuracy. We will, they will do psychic reading of a person they've never seen before. They will do uh, b maybe moving of an object or bending spoons. They will do it themselves. So what happens after that is that there's an expansion of consciousness. Mm -hmm. They will realize that, hui, meron palang mga ganito na pwedeng ma-explika ng a, a new kind of science. Okay. I have been looking for this, Jerry, for a long time. I said, you know, the classical science cannot explain what's happening in the phenomenal world. No, it's only quantum physics that has a semblance of rationality <laughs> to a non-rational mm -hmm. situation, and therefore it's no longer laughing matter. No longer laughing matter. Before, scientists would just laugh at this. Ngayon hindi eh. They, because the evidence is so much, the research material is so massive that it cannot be ignored anymore, Jerry. It cannot be ignored. They cannot laugh at it anymore and say, this is not hallucination, this is imagination. Hindi na pwede eh. Okay. Now, Jimmy, without a doubt, there are going to be so many people who will not be able to join your seminar. Yeah, unfortunately. Because, you know, I mean, uh, nationwide tayo eh. Sa mga mga tao from Aparito Holo, from Batanes to Holo. Oh, yes. Who are yes. listening to us right now. Yes, Ngayon, yes. hindi sila makakasali do sa seminar o sa workshop mo. Ngayon, uh, when we were uh, talking uh, just the other week in Makati, mm -hmm. you know, we were, nakita kami sa Green Belt, nag-uusok kami ron. You were mentioning three, three or four books Oh, that, yes. they, that, that they should read. I mean, because yes. oh. if you won't be able to go to this workshop seminar and you're very interested in these topics, then the next best thing you can do is read up on yes. it, diba? Yes. Oh. Any mga suggestions mo, Jimmy? Yes, you know, there's books for the layman. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, have to know physics okay. uh, or ESP. But uh, this will cover will some cover. of the topics that no, is in your some, workshop. Yes, it will cover. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, one of the most interesting is uh, Gary Zukav's book called The Dancing Wooly Masters, W-U, that was L-I, Wooly Masters. Ang subtitle nito, an overview of modern physics. Okay. Yeah, so it's really about modern physics. And, and, he the, will author is, and the author is? Gary Zukav. Okay. No, Gary Zukav, the favorite of, uh, of this Oprah Winfrey, is always okay. a guest of Oprah. No? And he wrote The Seat of the Soul, you know, and Mind of the Soul, Spiritual Relationship. This is Gary Zukav wrote this. And uh, then there is the book of Frithof Capra, who is a physicist. He has mm -hmm. a doctoral, uh, doctorate in physics. Wrote the book, The Tao, or Tao, T-A-O, The Tao of Physics, mm -hmm. uh, where he talked about the parallelism between mysticism and quantum physics. The third book, which they can look up if they're still available, is uh, The Medium, The Mystic, and The Physicist by Dr. Lawrence Lachan, a psychologist. 
And then there's another one, uh, the holographic uh, universe by Michael Talbot. It's another very good source of information on this. And the latest would be Dean Radin's uh, book on the noetic universe. Dean Radin is the head now of the uh, Institute of Noetic Science, which was founded by Edgar Michel, the sixth man on the moon. He's an American oh, astronaut. Okay. Oh, oh. And Edgar Michel has a doctorate in science. Mm. When he got out of NASA, he founded an organization called Institute of Noetic Sciences to study and investigate those that are beyond science. Mm. In fact, I, I, was a I was invited once to speak before the scientists in Sausalito, in mm. California, before this group uh, in the uh, 1980s. Uh, these are highly advanced, very avant-garde mm. scientists that are willing to risk, no, uh, to, to, to brace trails of new knowledge that many scientists are afraid to go to. Yon. Yon okay. Na, now, Meron kang isang hindi minimension na author na, na I'm sure they would be able to uh, get many ideas on psychic phenomena. Yung si Jaime Licao po. <laughs> ano mga libro mo, Jimmy? Well, that would be uh, very connected yes. to, uh, to uh, quantum physics, uh, oh, Eastern yes. mysticism, and ESP. Uh, the well, maybe it should be the understanding the mm -hmm. psychic powers of man. Okay. It was my first book and was revised already, you know. And then the second is exploring the powers of your inner mind. These two books, I think, would give them a very good idea about this field. Mm -hmm. Of course, I've written so many other things. Though. Oh, no. But so, ito yung... Ito yung uh, well, check nyo lang, I mean, because uh, almost all of your books about, uh, are about psychic phenomena. About uh, mind power. Mind no, power. But there's one on Christianity also. Oh. <laughs> Dibuna, uh, Jimmy. You give regular workshop seminars also. Yes. Regular. How Re regular? Every month. There is a, every weekend I have a oh. new seminar. Okay, so there you go. Kung hindi maabutan ito, because yeah. uh, the reason this is one of a kind is because uh, there is another speaker, yeah, George, George Weisman, mm. who will be leaving the country. Yeah, oh. Okay? So after June 22, see uh, Mr. Uh, si Dr. Jaime Ligonco, we still have uh, regular uh, seminars. workshop seminars. Mm on psychic phenomena, on ESP, mm. on... Uh, Soulmates, karma, reincarnation. Ayan. Soulmates, <laughs> karma, reincarnation. So all of these things na uh, you want an authority, you know, to speak about it so you learn about it. Kasi eh, kuminsan, kulang na kulang mga reading material on it, no? or sometimes they're too heavy. Mm. Now here's a person that you can interact with, you know, aside from uh, uh, knowing about it, pwede mong tanongin at sasagutin yeah, sure. ka. Hindi parang libro. Libro, yes. sasabihin lang sa'yo. Mm. Di ba? <laughs> okay, so with that, sure. thank you very much, Jimmy. Yeah, thank for, you, Jerry, uh, for inviting actually, me. Actually, mga dalawang taong ko nang kinukumbida si Jimmy. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> two yeah. years na po, two years na. And I'm so happy that, uh, you know, I was uh, walking along and then I, I saw you and then I said, oh, you're texting, you're busy. So sabi ko, Next time, ko na lang ko yo. Anyway, I see you regularly. But then, something made me turn back. I said, no, no, I'm going to turn back. I'm going to say hello anyway. And this is the result. We have him here with us now. So, with that, uh, I hope, uh, well, I don't hope. I am sure you learned something from this uh, talk uh, by uh, Dr. Jaime Di Calco. And uh, hopefully, it's not going to take another two years before we have him back here again. <laughs> so, Jimmy, maraming salamat. Yes, thank, thank you, you very much. much. Thank, thank you, you for much. inviting me, Jerry. Thank you very much. And with that, until next time, I'm Jerry Corneo. This is Open House. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.